Hey guys, this is Bernie Keish with Cooking Star Bulldogs. We were actually going to take formal pictures of everybody tonight, but time, it is 8.30, and we still have about five or six things to do, including vetting these guys. Tonight is second dose of Nemex, which is their worm preventative. This is Iris's litter, like I said. They're all males, except for this girl who has not moved a lick. That, that black one right there that the Merle is laying on her shoulder. Now, her head. She has not moved a lick. But these guys, I mean, just cold black. We do have some brindles, I will tell you. This little guy here, oh, yep, yeah, that guy. He is usually, he would, matter of fact, he was the first one to escape. He's our escape artist. He was the first one up, first one playing, first one moving around. And he's usually sitting right there every time you come in here. Sitting there, just paying attention to what you're doing. Anyway, this is them. You can see they have flat grown. Uh, by this point in time, they've more than doubled their birth weight, which is good. We've given them their first parvo vaccination at three weeks. They've already been wormed one time and they will get wormed again tonight. And that's just protocols. So that's just part of what we do in order to keep the intestinal parasites down. Uh, it's more of a preventative than a treatment at this point. So I'm gonna move over next door Hi guys, this is Iris. The sire of this litter is um, Louie. So this is, all of these will carry the long hair gene. They're not, they don't present long hair, but they will all carry the long hair gene. So now I'm coming over here to Honey Buns. Oh, you got to see this, hold on. Look at this little girl. Isn't she the most precious thing in the whole wide world? She is, this one here is a male. The one that's laying the brindle is a female. Male, male. This is Honey Buns. This is Honey and Sunny. Sunny is a blue Merle that we own. He is one of ours. Honey, obviously, we own as well. So all of these will be carriers of blue, if that makes a difference to you, or the dilute gene. But these guys aren't walked, they're about three days um, younger than Iris's litter. Most of them are up and scooting around. I believe the big guy right there is still kind of army crawling, but the rest of them are up and moving. Anyway, just a, again, just another structurally correct, very classically colored litter. So I'm going to put a pause on this, and I am going to go to uh, Stormy's litter. Hang loose just one sec. I'm going to pause this and come back. All right, I'm back over here at Stormy's litter. Stormy, the sire of these two will be Louie again. He, again, like uh, Iris's litter, he was a black and tan, visual fluffy. So both of these two are carriers. The little black and tan there is our keeper. This beautiful Merle, again, will carry the long hair. She will be available out of this litter. These two here, again, are about the same age uh, blossom no, I'm, I'm sorry, Stormy, Iris, and, and Honey's litters were all born within 60 hours. So when you saw that post of mine that said, we've had three litters in 60 hours, this was, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Big old fat things. Just big old fat things. So these guys, I don't think, are eating quite as well as the other two because there's no competition with uh, milk. So they are just fat little creatures. So anyway, I'm gonna pause this and go back to Blossom's litter. Okay, I cannot believe these guys are still 
in the oh, move my finger out of the way. I can't believe these guys are still in this pool, but they are. I was expecting them to have escaped and moved on. But anyway, this is Stormy's litter. Stormy's sire of this litter is Teddy. Teddy is a as a chocolate and tan covered in cream male that we own. So the female, the lone female in here is this little girl right there. And she is tiny. You can see she is, when I say half the size, I mean half the size as the other pu puppies. I don't know. I think I've, I think I've said this uh, to those that have put deposits down on Stormy's litter, but these guys were about three days early. So if you think about three days early in the way that we breed, which is we breed a day, wait a day, breed a day, three days is from the first breeding. So if you look in, you know, start doing the numbers and you have a, a breed a day, wait a day, breed a day. So the 63 days is from the, from the first breeding. So if we came, if this litter was, was whelped, three days early that means some of these puppies were at least two days younger than that and possibly up to two or three days younger than that because the sperm can survive two to three days so i really think that's the scenario we have going on here so this little girl here and the little brind i mean the little um the merle that you see here could be literally a conceived a week after the other three. That's the, I think that's the reason why they're that small. Everybody will kind of, I don't think that's going to be any indication of what they're going to be. It's just the fact of it's timing. Uh, so they've had to do a lot of their maturity that would have taken place that last week of the womb because puppies typically double in size the last two weeks in the womb. They just didn't have that. So when they were born, they were literally five, five ounces, little bitty tiny things. But everybody's doing well. Everybody is growing. Everybody is, um, you know, these guys are just now, their eyes are open. Again, these guys are about a week and a half behind the others. So you can kind of see just the maturity level in them just laying here, uh, they still kind of look like wiggly worms on the carpet versus the other three litters who really look like little pups. So anyway, that's them. I will give further updates. Uh, like I say, we really just wanted to take kind of some formal pictures and kind of set up the studio tonight, but life has literally just kind of gotten our way today with, with uh, trying to get things done before the rain hits tonight so my apologies for that but I wanted to get a video out and sometimes videos are better than pictures anyway you can kind of really kind of see them in their environment so anyway if you have any questions give me a shout 214-796-0877 thank you